I want to talk about H. pylori infections. My name is Dr. Lori Haley. I am a functional medicine practitioner and I help women who have thyroid conditions to reverse their thyroid conditions naturally so that they can experience optimal health and get their lives back. Most of the clients that I work with, I find that they have a stealth hidden infection that is the root cause of their thyroid condition. So if you have tried different things like changing your diet, changing different lifestyle and environmental factors and still cannot get Hashimoto's into remission or get your thyroid condition under control, it is likely that you have some sort of hidden infection that should be investigated and if found then properly treated and one of the most common infections that i find with women that i work with who have hashimoto's is h pylori and it actually has been shown in published research articles that h pylori is associated with people who have Hashimoto's and what can happen is that you can get an H. pylori infection and you know it is common but the problem is when your immune system just can't keep it in check and then for people who have genes for Hashimoto's what will happen is that the immune system will start to identify H. pylori as similar to thyroid tissue and while it's trying to attack the infection, it will also attack the thyroid gland because of molecular mimicry. So 85% of people who have an H. pylori infection do not have symptoms. However, if you did have symptoms, some of the symptoms could be nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, belching, bloating, constipation, and things like that. So if you have any of these symptoms, I do suggest that you might want to look into being tested for H. pylori, especially if you have Hashimoto's. So to test, there are different tests available. There are breath tests and there are stool tests, there's blood tests, the ones that the tests that I suggest most for people who have Hashimoto's are the breath test and the stool test. So if you do find out that you have an H. pylori infection, the, there are different treatment options. One of them is antibiotics. However, I do not suggest going that route. It has not shown to be effective in many cases and also there is antibiotic resistance so that plays a factor as well other treatment options can be treating the infection with things like aloe vera and berberine mastic gum and oil of oregano and saccharomyces boulardii so if you are having trouble figuring out what is going on with your thyroid condition and you would like someone to help you out you can book a, a free 30 minute call with me and i can give you a plan i'll ask you some questions about your health and then i can formulate a plan for you whether we decide to work together or not as to how you should go about getting to your root causes and resolving your thyroid condition. So I will put a link to my calendar in the description of this video. And I look forward to speaking with you soon.